How's it going guys? Anxious Cynic back again, and as always, thanks for all the submissions we got on this week's compilation for the glow effect. Uh, there wasn't really a whole lot that I could say other than a couple of reminders from what I said in the tutorial. A couple of the submissions that I got, uh, people forgot to turn on the face camera thing, so when you have your your glow object, you need to go to your library. If you didn't do it when you imported it, you have to go into the library, find your glow surface, and make sure face camera is on. Uh, you wouldn't do that for the eyes because they are, you know, stationary. They need to remain on the plane, of the same plane as the face. But for your glowstone uh, type blocks and whatnot, as you can see, it's not facing this one because it's actually facing the camera. Uh, but it needs to have that on, otherwise you get this effect where it's not uh, rotating with it and it can look kind of funky. It's just got this weird glow. You could also, another little additional tip that I thought of, if you had this on the ground, you could rotate, you could have two of them and rotate one to be around the block on the ground to kind of give it even more of a glow in that way. Sometimes your point lights and whatnot can already provide that, so it may not be necessary, but that's just a little additional thing you could do with this effect. Uh, and have it be like that. Of course, if you did do it that way, that's the one you would not want there to be a face camera on because it would be similar to the eyes where you don't want it to be moving around. It needs to be flat on the ground the whole time. So that's just a little additional tip there. And uh, yeah, pretty much that everyone pretty much got things right. The only issue we had, and this is unfortunately something that happened a few times and uh, I had a little bit of back and forth with a... Uh, some people about not understanding this, but you need to do what I do in the tutorial if you're going to submit uh, an animation for the compilation. Not everyone has this problem. It's not necessarily even a rampant problem, but we are having it a bit more than I would like. Uh, certain people are wanting to take shortcuts or whatever, and as I said to one uh, would be submitter. <laughs> I don't know how to word that. I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, you need to do what I show in the tutorial. A few of the submissions we got that didn't make it into this week's compilation only did the brightness of the eyes. They didn't actually do the glow effect. And the brightness, like upping the brightness on the cube and giving the, the uh, eyes the whiteness or whatever, that's just part of the effect. So, uh, if you look at this, why, why am I not getting uh, the effect? Well, anyway, you can see it down here. Uh, you know, that is a big significant part of the effect is having the cube be white so you can see it. But they were kind of interpreting that as the only thing they needed to do. Uh, some of people, some at least one submitter, you know, complained that it was too difficult uh, to do what I did in the tutorial. And that's fine. I understand that if you guys, you know, want to submit and you're not kind of prepared to do whatever it is that I did in the tutorial. Unfortunately, you know, I can't really say, well, you don't have to do everything just do part of it or whatever like that's not fair to everyone and you know it's not the point of this compilation which is for you guys to practice the techniques that I show in the tutorial I feel like I have to repeat that a lot unfortunately but if something's too difficult maybe uh just kind of practice other things and wait for the next compilation wait for the next tutorial to come out and see if there's one that you feel up to doing nothing says you have to submit to every single one or whatever and uh, like I said, I, I'm not really interested in making compromises for certain submissions uh, that others aren't having any trouble with. And I want to keep this fair so that it's not, uh, there's no reason to complain about anything. Of course, I know that's pretty much impossible, but I just wanted to go ahead and make a note of that. It needs to comply. And another thing is, once again, I feel like most of these tips are just about the compilation rules, but a lot of people are kind of doing something where... I think I've talked about this before. They make an animation, and I don't know if you guys are working on animations beforehand, and then you're tossing in the thing that makes it comply with the theme for the week, or whatever the case may be. I hope you're not doing that, but if you are, then you still need to feature the theme pretty prominently. Like, I, I, you know, we're getting some submissions where there's like, you know, whatever. It could be 15 seconds, it could be 30 seconds to a minute long, and the actual theme is about five seconds or three seconds of the entire animation and uh, again that does like I've said before that's not necessarily an automatic disqualification but certain times like if it's really not warranted like sometimes it just looks tacked on sometimes I may not accept those submissions 
Uh, I don't know how many people, it seems like some people aren't watching these tips here at the end, uh, unfortunately. So I don't know exactly how we're going to curb this issue we're having here, but we'll see how it goes. And, uh, you know, if you're in the comments and, and you see that I'm, I don't know, I don't know if it comes off as harsh or whatever, but if it seems like I'm being harsh to someone, uh, I'm not really intending to be. I'm just trying to, to stick to the rules and... Like, my uttermost goal here is to keep it fair for everybody and whatnot. So I hope you understand. And, uh, yeah. As long as you follow the rules, there shouldn't be any problems. It's, uh, you know, kind of unfortunate. I hope that the rules would be simple enough to not have these issues. But, uh, you know, stuff happens. So dealing with it the best that I can. Hope you guys understand. And, yeah, that's it. So... Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying these compilations still. And uh, any feedback you have about uh, any of the things that I'm talking about here, how we can handle this and how we can kind of improve the accessibility of the compilation and make it more easy for people to understand the rules and, and whatnot. I'm open to any suggestions you guys may have. That doesn't mean anything's going to change. But if any of you have anything that really catches my eye or my ear, whatever, then uh, I will consider it and we'll see what happens. In any case, I'm rambling and I feel like this wasn't a very uh, fun tip section this week, but uh, just had to get those kind of those issues out there and and hopefully curb some of this uh, the confusion that's going on. So once again, thanks again, guys, for the submissions and for participating in this week's compilation. As always, if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button, comment and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends and your family and your pets, and I will see you guys next week.